There we got our props. All right, let me know when you guys are ready. What was that movie where the guy got his ass onto the photocopier and yeah. photocopied his ass? <laughs> what movie was that? <laughs> Put a nine to five movie. Yeah, I don't think so. Something. It was an office space, wasn't it? Hmm. Something like that. <laughs> I think it might have been. It seems like an American Pie kind of thing. Uh, could do that too. Not sure. All right. Let me know you're ready. you guys so I think the idea is supposed to be we don't know what it is well we know what it is but he doesn't know what it is yet and you're trying to keep him from finding out okay it would be oh. something embarrassing for no. you to know no, I have to do the, like, otherwise you guys are too buddy buddy there's not there's nothing to to really buy yeah, well, we can start that over Okay. Okay. So then you you the guy with the yeah. here's, here's some paper. You got to have some. Maybe somebody else can do that. This is a secret. 
It looks like somebody's ass. <laughs> So hang on one second, guys. So uh, we're stagnating. Why are we stagnating? What, slow? Yeah, we're, we're basically not. The story's not advancing anymore. Why is it not advancing? Well, we got the machine to work. We got the machine to work, so that oh. advanced it. But we found out what was on it. Found out what was on it. Logged in here. The pictures. There we go. Drop a scene. So are we going to continue to advance the story, or are we going to call it a day? I sort, of, I sort of like get the hell out of there, and then you're like, okay, I'm not going to the audience. So if your beginning objective is to keep them from finding out what's in the copier machine, and now we know what's in it, if you're going to keep the story going, you need a new objective, such as leaving. But he can, we can keep the story going even more. He can stop you from leaving. So. Hang on a second. You've got porn that you're using a company copy machine Jeez. to make. You can be one of those guys. Okay, so what else have you been doing around here? I really should be going. Oh, hold on one second. You see that camera? Got you on candy camera. I'm the only one who can get rid of it. What are you going to do for me? There are a lot of different ways you can go with this. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do beyond the copy machine. Okay. Exactly. So I got busted. You get busted. You got fixed. And now, I, oh yeah, I should probably say, well, now you can go ahead and copy whatever you want. Now I'm, I'm just going to go back to my office. <laughs> this is not like an office building, is it? So whatever creates conflict is probably good for the story. Anything that creates the conflict or furthers the conflict furthers the story. So if you don't have that, though, if you can't think of it, it's best to just call it quits and just. All right, I gotta go. One of the easiest things you can do when you know you feel like it should keep going and it's gonna be in and it's gonna be over a little too soon is prevent them from leaving somehow. You know. So here, take this and show. Yes. Now another thing, though, remember this. Remember when it comes to uh, how scenes work, there's action reaction, but we know the actions that a character takes are within their character. Now, if your character is a weasel, he's not gonna be confrontational. He's going to be, uh, you know, making excuses. Uh, he's going to be delaying him. He's going to be, when he gets caught, maybe he starts to persuade him to do something else more important you could be doing. Or maybe he starts kissing up to him. Or, you know, there's a lot of different things your character could do. So you got to figure out, uh, remember taking your time in the beginning, figuring out what character you're going to do. Figure out who your character is. Come up with a, a lot of these things that they would do to get what they want or to get out of there. And try to try different things. So when you're hearing the laughs, that's a good way to measure the beats of the scene. So when you hear that laugh, that means your character tried something, he reacted to it. All right, next thing. Try something else, react to it. Okay, next thing. See how many different things you can try. Let's let's take it from the top, as a matter of fact. Let's right. take it from the top and try try different ways of keeping the guy who's going to find out from finding out. And then after you get past the photocopier part, uh, when you try to leave, try different ways of leaving. The other guy can try different ways of keeping you there. So whatever you feel like fits within your character. So if this guy's a goody two-shoes, he's going to have all these technicalities or whatever that those goody two-shoe types have, but maybe he's got it in for you. you know? So let's, let's try it again from the top.
copied some photos on here, and um, it seems to have gotten stuck, it jammed, and I, I can't get something out of here. Yeah, it might be a while. Uh, do you have some <laughs> coffee or something? Well, you're, you're rough. Um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to, you know, trying to. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just not, nothing important, you know. Oh. Uh, oh, thank you. Thanks. Um, okay, uh, well, <laughs> I, I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's working. Oh, yeah, you're probably copy on here now. I got to see my, my material and, and I, I'm going to go. You're a little uh, shaky. What's wrong? Um, <laughs> oh, darn. Oh, oh, we didn't see that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, look, go back about. Five ten seconds and do that part again. He's trying to signal you to to okay. discover it. All right, so let's start again. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna just take off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm Stage. Um, well, let's just. Um, I'm going to let you get away from this. I'll never do it again. I want a couple dollars. There you go. <laughs> okay. Deal? Deal. Thank you. I don't know if that's the best. Okay. How was that? Uh, not a lot of creativity there. Uh, you ran out of things really quickly. Um, so, let's see here. Try it again, just reverse roles. Let's see what you guys do in the opposite okay. directions. Do the Seinfeld music. Uh, 
Yeah. All right, well, I wouldn't do that anymore on that. <laughs> but I, I will say nothing this time. <laughs> I can see you doing that again. Say something to somebody. Manage <laughs> the same. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think? Like, how, how do you feel? Do you feel like you're trying different things? Uh, yeah, first first? Was... Okay, so you had two objectives here. First is the copy machine, the second is leaving. So yeah. you're trying to keep him from finding out what's in the copy machine. How many things did you try to do that? Any number? How many things did you try? Uh, Why are those in these positions where he was trying to move things, like multiple, like three, four things? But his main objective was not here. So I think he had totally issues. Well, okay, let's let's try this. Let's try the scene one more time, but let's go ahead and make it specific. So you do three things to keep him from finding out what's in the copy machine. Obviously, it's action reaction. So you're going to react to his three things. But let's say you start to change your thing. So maybe you walk up and you're patiently waiting for him like to us. finish his copy. Yep. But you're like, come on, man, you take them forever. And then, you know, it goes from waiting to, okay, maybe you offer to help him. He doesn't want you to help because you're going to find out. He's trying to block it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, Didn't see much physical blocking going on. It seems like you both have access to it. Um, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to block over your body. You can just be like, I got it. <laughs> just stay over there. Uh, let me just... Uh, I go like this. Yeah, and you can start rushing him. So remember, um, when it comes to these um, action reactions, uh, they're jiren verbs. So uh, waiting is one. Uh, rushing him. Offering to help. So any jiren phrase that you can think of, just think of three. Three for three. So let's do three for the copy machine, and then afterwards three for you to leave, and three for you to keep them there for some reason. Okay. And remember, take your time. Think of something. Um, you know, you've got the laugh tracks. You can just wait and uh, think of a reason. That's also funny. That'll get a laugh. So I think you'll do good this time. Let's try and keep it three for three. Okay. Three and three. And then when we conclude it, then. That's probably, probably the worst thing we're trying to figure out, how to end it. How to end it. Well, so how to end it is once he finds out, he's either going to keep your secret or he's going to use it against you. So it's going to be up to you. Up to me. Okay. Yes. To right. uh, keep the secret. It's going to cost him something, I imagine, if you're going to keep the secret for him. Or if you want to use it against him, it's still going to cost him something. It's going to cost him either. No matter way. what. Yes. So, which would take him, if with this were a sitcom, that would take him into the next situation, the next scene. Now I gotta keep my end of the bargain, keep him from going to the boss or whatever, and that screws up the next thing. So, um, all right, let's try it again. Okay. All right, so let's take a second, let's think of those three things. You can even write them down on the paper if you want. So that you can uh, figure out, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is this, second that, second thing. Um, you guys want to write it down or you think you got it? You got it? Okay. Steven, how about you? You want to write down three Jaren phrases? How are you going to keep him from, from getting to the copy machine? Here's a pin. Can I uh, make him up as a VM? Well, we tried that. Let's try the written approach. Craig. Go ahead and write down three things too. You got a pen? I got Okay. Three Jaren phrases. Three things might be for you waiting. Stalling would be more of his thing. He's trying to. <clears throat> I 
but just think of how you might get him to stay back or go away or come back later, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm going to wait for a little bit. Waiting. Yeah. That's number one. And number two, I'm going to um, get like antsy. Like, hurry up, that type of thing. Well, remember, it has to be a gerund phrase, so it's taking an action. Oh, okay. So just being antsy isn't going to do anything. No. You've got to, so it's like when you're waiting, that's an action. Waiting so that you get a reaction. So you're waiting in a very waiting. obvious way. And then two, I'm going Checking to... Checking your watch, you know what time yeah. it is. Pressuring him is a good one. And then three, um... I'm going to buy, um, give him advice to help him. Giving him advice is yeah. a good one. Advice. Actually offering the physical help yeah. you know, might be a good one. Advice and then help. Oh. Let's see what happens. Then. You got, you got three it. things? Yeah. All right, how about afterwards? Get three things for that. Oh, time. afterwards. Afterwards when you catch him. Um, this is where you decide what kind of character I you want. Right? Some, you right. again. Extortion. 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 You know what? Let's give oh, that photo some meaning. Let's make it either the daughter or the wife of you. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Just see how it goes. Yeah. That would be a kind of interesting. Hey. Don't okay. know her? Let's see you explain yeah. your way out of that one. So, yeah, like she looks awful for familiar. She's a daughter? So either or. We're going to let you decide. Now how you're going to figure it out what is... Mark's daughter? You're like, what's my daughter? Here? So it won't be his daughter or his wife, but you're going to decide because what's going to happen is he can ask you, what is this? And you can either say that that's um, your daughter, wife, or wife. Either way, you do it. So you're going to react whether it's the daughter or the wife. If it's a wife, you're going to think, she's cheating. Or if it's a daughter, you're going to think, you mother, you pervert, or something like that. Pervert, she's like, well. You know? And you've got to come up with an excuse. Do you have your three for the uh, photocopier? Yeah. Now you need three to leave. Yeah, I've six on the total. Okay, gotcha. Okay, now when it's the wife, do the last six work? The last three, do they still work? If it's wife or daughter? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to have to think of an excuse really quickly. All right. Okay. Alright. Let's see how this goes. See how it goes. We don't know what will happen. <laughs> Let's give him time to get that stuck.
Uh, hang on a second, guys. Sorry, we gotta stop you, but uh, uh, isn't this only meaningful because they know each other? They've gotta know each other. Well, we just met. Well, just now, but let's say you guys work at the same job every day, right? Yeah, that's same, same, same. So you know each other. You know each other. You, so I mean, it's not hard. It's not a uh, out of. It's not. Um, Unreasonable that you know his wife. Maybe you catered something for her or something like. Yeah, there's there's exactly. a reason for you to know his okay, wife. So we know each other. Yes, we know each other. So we're right also, the associates. Yes. Like, oh, okay. Otherwise, if you don't know each other, it's a little weird. Yeah. It's a little weird to come up and find a guy with your family member's picture. So basically, we're coworkers. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, coworkers. Oh uh, yeah. Then that might make the stage better for. Picture of the wife or the dog. Like, that, like that party I had. Where do you get these pictures from? You know, something like that. That's what we'll do. You can do right, that. Mark hmm? Mark yeah. Okay, we mark the chat. All right. All right, let's start again. All right. That opens up the door a little bit wider. Right? There you go. Photo's there, but you don't want him anywhere near it. Oh, but you, if he hears me coming. Okay, so check it out. Okay. You're trying to do this secretly. Okay. Let's oh. set the stage, okay? Greg, you come back off. Okay. I wanted to have a moment where he has the, the physical comedy with the machine, okay. not being able to work it right. For whatever reason, he has a legitimate reason to be making a photocopy. It's just really hard to explain to you. You know? Right. So, and he seems to be coming. Exactly, there you go. Ah, it's a classic comedy. All right, all right. Let's time. Let's see, somebody got up. We have time. There you go. All right. All right, so let's try it again. Steven, off the, screen, off the stage first, and then when you come back on, that's when we'll start. I'm sorry, we got to stop you here. Uh, fear should be the first thing going through your head. You know this. You're doing this in secret because you know it'd be hard to explain. You know, so you don't want your coworker to find you with a compromising picture of his wife, which, for whatever silly reason, you have a perfectly legitimate reason to be making this photocopy. It's just you suck at making photocopies. Stop. Exactly. So this the worst thing that could possibly happen is the guy's wife, uh, the wife's husband, walks up and sees you with the picture of her. Maybe she got you to make it for her for whatever reason, and you're just a nap. Uh, and this guy caught up in this silly situation, but you're gonna just do it, get it done, and be done with it. But here he is on his day off for whatever reason. 
Send it back to the machine, you go back off. And let's start again. <laughs> backed into a corner where he physically has to get the picture to see it. You can't let him see this no matter what. You're being a little bit flippant with it. You got you can't let him see it. You cannot let him see this picture. But you you snatched it, that was perfect. That was excellent. You snatched it before he could actually see it. So that was good. So, I got it on the corner of the machine. So you don't have to do that part again, but let's let's say you got the picture now. All right. Now you've got there you go. Go back to your notes and do whatever you're doing there. All right. Uh, no, no, no. We're going to pick it up from the part where he just snatched the paper from you. Oh, okay. As, as a matter of fact, snatched the paper from you. What's this? It's photo paper. It's delicate. Ah, yeah. Wait. What? 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 Cool. Uh, delicates are delicate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see that picture. <laughs> Instagram. Well, I don't know about about 
you, but I think uh, this is really upsetting to me. And uh, I want an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> Take these pictures. Oh, okay. pretend it didn't happen. Um, I think you probably should. And there's not many more of them either. Oh, you I, I, I need to uh, have you pay up on that too. Like, how much? 100 bucks. <laughs> I'd like to know, uh, does she know about this? Well, actually, obviously she does know about this because <laughs> she let you take the pictures of her, right? Well, of course, after I saw the picture, she allowed me to. <laughs> All right, that took a weird turn. Okay, um, you ended it, so good job there. All right, so it did take a weird turn here. Uh, when you find a picture of some guy or some guy, some pictures of your wife, you've got more than curiosity. You've got more than I'm going to extort the guy. You've got to try and kill him. You know what I mean? That's the thing he's afraid of. He's afraid of you finding out that he's going to get killed, and it's not even his fault. You know what I mean? That's what makes this funny. That's what makes it comic. Uh, comedic. <laughs> it's the worst possible situation you can be in, but you've got a logical explanation for it. Because for all it could, it could have been pictures that someone gave him. Say, hey, we'll copy these you now. Well, that's where it's his job to go to his three points or whatever. Uh, and decide what is he going to be making excuses? Uh, is he going to own up to it? Uh, depending on the kind of guy he is, depending on what the backstory of the thing is. Um, but one thing you can't do is be completely unbothered by the fact that he found out, uh, by the fact that he's trying to find out. You've got to protect that picture with your life. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't let you see this. I thought it was just the me or whatever you just said it was. You know. It is. It is not. Maybe the thing that's funny about him is he can't help tell the truth. You know what I mean? I've got pictures of your wife. That kind of thing. Here come the laughs. What? You know that that that's that's where you go with that. But um, I like the pentameters. You know what the pentameter is? Remember, it's one of our words. It's just basically the the amount of time you wait after you say a line to let it sink in. So that was good. So you guys have good timing. I think this is a good exercise for that. And then the laughs are in there. So the laughs are in there. Um, so you guys have a good feeling for laughs. Do you guys you guys feel comfortable waiting for the laughs at this point? Um, yeah, it blends. It sort of blends. Sometimes it seems to be a little off and on. Yeah, a little off sometimes. Points. But the point is, you know that there's supposed to be a laugh. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be in comedy. There's not supposed to be any waste of time. You're you're telling a joke or you're setting up a joke. I could have hit the machine. People are laughing. Exactly. It's not working. Because it's funny. He's not saying anything, but it's a joke. The fact yeah. that he can't work the copy machine. Maybe he doesn't. The number is posted at six o'clock. If you need assistance completing your task, please press number one. Number two be happy to help. If you are using a library laptop, please your time to the key up. <laughs> Very passive aggressive. It's <laughs> all the library. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just basically saying, hurry the fuck up and get ready to go home. Yeah, like you're closing in five minutes. Please take your instructions to the registers. Um, but yeah, that that'll be class today. Um, so. That's the thing. Just be patient. You're waiting for last, but you're also waiting to figure out what's going on. You're waiting to figure out how you're going to take it. Um, that part, figuring out what actions to take as your character, is harder because you're in the moment coming up with stalling, I'm making excuses, I'm evading, I'm being uh, very difficult to, ha to, to handle. You're using all those shared phrases because they are what advance the scene towards the turning point. Turning point is either he finds out or he doesn't, and then either he lets you leave or he murders you. Pictures of the white man.
So or he ran off. I was I ran after. Him. Or he ran off. Or he just runs off. That's funny too, because okay, you only got one way you're gonna go out of this. Either I'm gonna beat you to death, or I'm gonna take you and drown you in dirty water. Which way you want it to go? And he runs. You know, he comes up with their out. So that's good. I think that you guys are doing better. Um, you need some more practice, Stephen. But you had good moments here. The picture, the picture thing was completely in the moment. That was really good. Uh, do you guys have any questions about the improv comedy timing skills? Because we're going to be doing this next class, so there's going to be a third improv class. But we're going to we're going to start with this, and then we're going to focus on the next skill. Um, so you're going to have more time to get used to using those verbs, so you can get through the scenes. Um, it's the only way to do good improv, I believe. But some might disagree. Well, it's basically, um, you um, address a sentence, and then that sets it up for what he's going to say. And Sort of. Remember, it's two things at once. This yeah. is why comedy is more difficult. It's because you're telling a story and you're setting up jokes. Right. You're doing both at the same time. With drama, you're doing the same thing. You're telling a story and you're. But the thing about drama is the story is the thing that's setting up the emotion that's going to come. And um, when it comes to improv, comedy is easier. It's just a difficult thing to do in the first place. Comedy is easier because um, people more readily laugh at comedy in a short period of time than have an emotional reaction to drama. drama in the moment. Drama takes time to build up. And some I'm people are, are felt differently with drama than some other people are like, they cry at every little thing. And yeah. Some people are, it takes a lot for them to feel emotion. They yeah. might not feel emotion. Yeah. And some people laugh at everything. But it's just yeah. uh, the way that drama works. It just it, it's the movies of drama movies are longer because they take they take time to build up. Right. Um, but yeah, so that's what I got for you today. Let me just double check. Make sure we didn't miss anything else. Homework. Uh, as far as your homework, watch the watch those movies. But yeah. basically, everybody find a comedy monologue. I'll email everyone else on the roster. Closer. Yeah. Joe Nelson. Closer. That's the movie for a scene for you to do with him. But find a comedic monologue. We're actually, oh, okay. I want to kind of get everyone ready for the comedy class that we're going to do. It's, the comedy is going to be its own class. We're going to talk about comedic devices, uh, techniques, how to set up a punch, uh, how to set up a joke, how to pop a punchline, that kind of stuff. And you can apply that to acting as well as improv, as well as anything. So what do you do for the, um, the punchline? Uh, I, I think for monologue. Uh, Mon you're going to look for a comedic monologue. So a funny monologue that you say by yourself. You don't have a scene partner. Um, I just want to get you guys working on something comedic before the com comedy class comes around. And if I try to get you to find a scene partner now, they may show, they may not. But at least I know you'll have a monologue for right. guys. So find something and memorize it. And we'll see what everybody's got next class. And we'll work on our next improv skills. And we'll get ready for the comedy. Uh, and hopefully I'll have, we might have a break. I have to talk to Tim. He might either teach, teach the next class, and in other words, you got a, a break between now and the next improv class, or it might be we'll do an on-camera class. So we'll do a piece of an on-camera class and then go back to the improv. Uh, I don't like doing it like that, but we, we may. You know, we'll have to talk it over with the other people. Um, any questions about class today? No questions. All right, so be sure to check out the notes. I'm going to go back and make it a little more student friendly right now. They just like the way that I wrote it. Um, that way you'll have your contacts. You'll remember what happened first class, where we're at today, where we're going in the future. Um, as far as the future, Definitely focus on using the uh, the action reaction, building a scene towards a turning point a lot more. So those things that are hard to do today, which are coming up with the things that your character would do 
So you try one thing, it doesn't work, you try the next thing, it doesn't work, you keep going, you keep escalating, making it more and more ridiculous until you're in a shouting match at the end of the scene. When something's about to change. So you build it up. Build it up, exactly. And you know, that's that's the skill that matters the most in improv, I believe. So once you have that setup down, just like in comedy, once you have the setup, yeah. you have the setup skills, you can pop a joke like, in ten different ways. The punchline is easy once right. you have the setup. I'm Tremaine Jenkins, Stanford Film Network. Come to the next class will be improv part three. Uh, if you missed the first and second class, you can go on to tampafilmnetwork.org, go to the classes tab, tap on the acting class, scroll down to the previous class, you'll see your notes. You can just pull up all the notes from the previous classes, get caught up. The homework is everyone needs to find a com comedic monologue and memorize it. We'll start working on that. And the next class series will be probably the comedy series. So uh, keep an eye out on the webpage to see what the next class will be. Either I will be teaching as part of improv, or Tim will come and teach uh, one of his classes. So, thank you, everybody. Peace Bye. out. Watch the fight, Anthony Joshua versus uh, Parker today. Who versus who? Anthony Joshua.